Hi, I want to tell you a little story and I'm talk to you about one of my favorite superfoods, and it's called nettle, stinging nettle. So recently, I was north of Seattle in Whidbey Island with one of my dear friends, and spring was bursting forth at her house. She lives in the forest, and all around was this beautiful green glow of nettle plants. Now, keep aware that they're also called stinging nettle because they have fine hairs that sting, which often give nettles a bad rap. Uh, what you might not know also is that what grows near them is dock leaf, which helps to neutralize the sting, as well as snail slime. So if you ever get stung by nettle, you can just put some snail slime on it and let them climb on you and it helps to take away the stinging. Some cultures actually use the stinging of the nettle on arthritis issues, so to bring um, blood flow to the area, right? That's where inflammation is actually really good. Okay, so back to stinging nettles. So my friend and I were deciding what our favorite recipes were gonna be. So she shared with me one of her favorite um, nettle soup recipes that you'll be able to find on my blog. But I wanted to tell you about nettles because they actually have about 25 times more calcium than spinach. They have more protein than beans. They're really high in magnesium and histamine, which makes nettles, which are long time known for being helpful with seasonal allergies and asthma. Um, nettles are also great for the kidneys, which makes them helpful for uh, people who have prostate issues, um, supporting the liver. They're just like all around this amazing plant that get a bad rap because they're a little sting. I like to toss them in a smoothie. <clears throat> you can saute them, you can boil them. One of my favorite recipes that I'll share is a, a nettle pesto. So you can dry them and put them in tea. You can buy them at the store, but it's always gonna be better if you can get the nettles that are growing around your house where you live, especially if you have allergy issues. Just look around, you might see them and think that they're a weed. So as I forget, might have been Thoreau that said, the difference between a flower and a weed is perspective. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me lots of comments. I do read every one of them.